Michael Hernandez here of MLH Media, and I'm here today at A1 Combat 19 with Rafael Vega after his amateur title win. How did it feel to capture that win in the first round, man? We're able to get it done quick, pounded, and then got that got that choke in. What were the thoughts behind it all, man? Uh, you know, it feels good because I you bust your ass during camp. You know, I had five weeks uh, to prepare for this, so I just worked my ass off, worked my ass off. Uh, I prepared for five rounds. They told us last second it was going to be three rounds. So I'm like, okay, that's good because my conditioning favors, you know, that. So uh, I was able to get it done, man. Got to take down, laid the ground and pound, gave up his back, and I sank to the choke. Yeah, that choke was able to get sunk in very, very fast. Or was that kind of the game plan right off the bat was, hey, like, let's go in there and let's try and just throw, throw the kitchen sink at him. If he, can't, if he can handle that, then we'll, we'll see what comes next because it seemed right off the bat you want to get this one done, man. Yeah, uh, I knew he was a good uh, kickboxer. So uh, my plan is to stay inside, not stay too far out where he could chop my legs, maybe throw some head kicks up. So stay close. Uh, I plan to use the dirty boxing and then eventually get to the takedown. I got to the takedown right away. Uh, I'm a good grappler, you know, so I always plan to lay the ground and pound so guys can give up I, subs, arms, the neck, you know, whatever they give me, I'll take, you know. If not, I finish you TKO on the ground. Coached by Jim West and those guys over there at MMA Gold. Well, how is it to have not only Jim West in the room, but also you got Anthony Hernandez, you got all those light heavyweight bodies in the room that help you to kind of get uh, pushed towards this title shot, right? Yeah, I'm super blessed, man. Jim's a, a veteran coach, uh, full of knowledge, and I have guys like Max Payne, Fluffy Hernandez, kicking my ass in the training room, you know, really working me, working me, working me. And uh, I mean, it's motivating just to be around those guys, to breathe the same air as those guys, because they're they're living my dream right now. You know, they're fighting full time. They're in the UFC, and that's where I want to be one day. Uh, so I'm working my butt off every day to get there. You know, when can the fans expect to see you next? Possibly defending that belt. As uh, soon as possible, man. So, uh, I do go to Thailand in May, so hopefully we can get busy before that. I go to Thailand to work on my Muay Thai. Kickboxing went last year. I'm going to go again. You know, that's my goal. I don't want to just be a grappler. I want to have crisp world-class boxing. I want to have world-class Muay Thai kickboxing. You know, I want to be untouchable. And so, uh, yeah, I'm doing everything I can. So hopefully if we get one in before May, I'm down. I'll defend it. Hey, my man. Well, best of luck to you in that. Have a lot of fun over there in Thailand. Thank you, Michael Pleasure. Hernandez of MLH Media. And we're going to be signing out over here at A1 Combat 19 with the now 6-0 Rafael Vega over there of MMA Gold. Hey, man, congratulations Thank on your